No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. Yuri fidgets. Wait. Kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Uh, forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Uh. Siori? Just now we weren't. Fury beams. Jesus! Clearly embarrassed, Yori hurries off. Siori waves goodbye after. Siori? Thought you didn't want to come over today. Didn't work, obviously. Out. Glad you came out though. Hmm. See what? What are you talking about? Tears start to fall down Siri's face. Or don't say that. Monica? Monica was right about what? Siori, what I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her.
What are you scared of, Siori? Siori? That's enough, Siori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Siori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, she nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm gonna give you. See now, in between our recordings of this, I've talked a while about my dilemma here. You know, because you know, we made the joke at the at the beginning of the game that I was gonna go for the chick with the purple hair. Ended up being Yori. But as the story progressed even though Sayori was that neighbor girl that I've been friends with my entire life, you know, just had that annoying side to her. You know, thinking about it more and more, she's that kind of person you kind of want to be with. Because she's always going to be there for you. This is sounding a lot like an 80s movie. It's sounding a lot like my life right now, to be honest with you. So which one do you choose? Okay. Love you. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized that sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day helps me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Suddenly, Siori wraps her arms tightly around me. Yeah, it is. I hold Siori in my arms and pull her close. You'll never have to let go of me again. Guys, this is the first time we've seen you. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Is my hair all feathered like that? Nah, he's got a full head of hair. I'm bald <laughs> as shit. Lies! Me too. I feel Siori's grip grip around me weaken a little bit. Siori? Okay, Siori. Might take some time for these things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Siori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? thing you shaved. I 
I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Fiora gazed at me once more, smiling sadly. I don't really understand what Siori means by that. You saying that this is making you feel sad, Siori? Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. Coming from somebody that's had depression and been in love, it's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> I know that I love her and that she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant? by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I got. Siori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to make a happy future with her.